Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to do some basic box modeling and show you some Boolean techniques while we make a cheese wedge. So let's go ahead and open up Blender and just click on General. And let's go ahead and save because that's just good practice. So we'll do File up in the top left, do Save As. And we're just going to call this Cheese Wedge. So just type in Cheese Wedge down at the bottom and do Save As. And we don't need Suzanne, so go ahead and delete Suzanne if you have it there. So make sure you have your flexible design collection selected and then come over to your 3D viewport and do shift A because we want to add something and we want to add a mesh cube. And it comes in really, really tiny and you should have a little uh, box down here that says add cube. So twiddle that open and let's just type in 25 for 25 millimeters. So there we go, we've got a 25 millimeter cube. I'm gonna hit period on my numpad to zoom into it. It also lets you kind of rotate around it. And now let's do some box modeling and turn this into a wedge. So an easy way to do that is just go into the top left and go into edit mode. Uh, but what I like to do is just hit tab on my keyboard and that will quickly flip you into edit mode. And then we're gonna go into edge selection. And I just hit two on my keyboard to go into the edge select. And make sure you're in your front view. So maybe hit one on your your numpad here and just grab that top line. You can kind of see right there, just grab that top one right there and we're just gonna slide it on down. So hit G to grab it and then while you have it grabbed, hit Z to lock on the Z axis. So just type Z on your keyboard and then we're, you can see that little line that's appeared. Uh, we're just gonna slide it on down and we don't wanna go too far where it kind of inverts on itself, just right below that, you know, really, really tiny. You can even hit period on your numpad and that will zoom in. So, you know, get as close as you want. Uh, you know, maybe not right on top of it, but just give it a little bit of space. And that looks pretty good. And now let's kind of zoom out and look at our shape here. You know, it, it's looking more like a wedge, but it's a little too steep to fit under a door. So let's fix that. Let's just go to face select or just hit three on your keyboard up at the top. And we want to grab this back face here and notice that it lights up so that way you know you have it selected and we're going to hit G and grab it but then while you have it grabbed hit Y and that will lock it to the Y axis and just kind of slide it back a little bit and I'm going to go to my side view so just click three on your numpad and maybe zoom out and we still have it selected so you can still hit G and Y and just kind of slide the wedge back until you are satisfied with the the slope or the angle there. I'm gonna do something like that, just a little triangle shape, and I may make it a little bit more slanted. So I'll just do G and Y, and just make it a little bit more slanted. And you can get this, you know, however you want it to look. And that looks pretty good. That looks like a door wedge to me. So let's go back to object mode, and let's just rename this. So instead of cube, let's double click and call it cheese wedge. And there we go, now we've got our cheese wedge. And technically this is 3D printable, but uh, I think we can make it look way cooler. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where I'm gonna teach you how to make this look more interesting and add some cheese holes. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson.